Hey guys, welcome back to a further tutorial. My name is Daniel. In this video we will learn together how to break and stop with our inline skates. We will learn 7 different techniques. This includes different techniques for all kinds of inline skates. Before we start learning, I will show you some clips of all the 7 techniques. For the heel stop we need a brake plug on our skates. For normal street skates or fitness skates a brake plug is a standard setup. For example aggressive skates do not provide a brake plug to stop. You have to use one of the next techniques to stop. Since I only have aggressive skates I will simulate a brake plug with my hand. To stop while using this technique you have to put your weight on the foot with which you want to brake. To stop bend your brake plug and put it on the ground. The stronger you push down on your brake block, the faster you brake. Yes, many skaters try to stop using this technique without bending their knees, but this cannot really work. To stop we have to bend our knees. Furthermore, we have to put as much weight as possible on our foot we want to brake with. To assist with this movement, we can put our hands on our knee or thigh. The foot we don't use to brake helps us to keep our balance. To do not move sideways, don't keep your skates next to each other. Always try to keep them in front of each other. Now we will learn our first technique without using a brake block. And yes, you're seeing correctly, I'm braking with my reels. This T-stop is particularly suitable using aggressive skates. It also works for street skates and others, but uh, they usually have softer reels. This means they have a faster rear out. To stop using the T-stop is easy and also very effective. But if you don't rear out your reels fast, you should use the T-stop as seldom as possible. Well, let's take a detail detailed look at a t-stop. We put our weight and balance point on the foot that we are not breaking with. We can assist this movement by using our arms or hands. Let's take a look at our foot we want to break with. We put a skate on the ground with an angle of about 90 degrees. We put our break foot on the ground as strong as possible. We perform that motion with a lot of power in order to stop faster. Remember, a fast stop while using the t-stop needs a good balance. We continue with the third way to stop, the blow stop. You may already be familiar with this technique from Alpine skiing. Using this technique needs a lot of power. To stop, the blow stop uses friction between your reels and the ground. To stop, we press our reels on the ground as hard as possible. With a special movement, using our legs and feet, we can assist the power of friction. This technique is difficult to explain, because of that, uh, watch my movement in the video. So while using this technique, try to pull your thighs side by side, to push apart your lower legs, to pull your skates to the middle and to push your reels to the outside on the ground. This technique provides the best form for braking. Face to face, I'm also using another explanation. Try to imagine you are caged between two walls and you can only use your feet to free yourself. Try to imagine the movement of your legs and feet to push apart the walls. It's time to take a look at the Spread Eagle Spinner Art. Using this technique we change the forward movement to a rotation. Pay attention to your skates. You should simultaneously move them in a circle. The faster we are, the more we have to lean forward during rotation. Otherwise we have a high risk to fall back out of the rotation or circle. For this we can use our arms and hands to make it easier to lean forward in the inner circle. It's also very important to bend our knees. That's always important. To practice, stand on the ground. 
Put your skates side by side with an angle of about 170 degrees. In this position we have to rotate ourselves in a circle. At this point you should rotate yourself as often as necessary to feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable you're ready to use this technique to stop. This technique and all of the other techniques we will learn later in the video we can combine with a T-stop and a blow stop. For example, first we can use a T-stop or the blow stop to slow down, after that we use one of the others to stop. The jump stop is a good technique for a nearly instant stop. It's a jump with a spin of 90 degrees to stop almost instantly. First we can use the T-stop or blow stop to slow down. After that we get ready to jump. We jump with a spin of 90 degrees and land sideways. While landing we have to lean sideways to the back against the direction of moving. The faster we skate, the more we have to lean sideways and back. Otherwise we will fall down forwards and that hurts. While landing the faster we skate, the more space we need between our skates. Let's take a look at the stair stop. As you see in the video, to stop we jump onto a stair with an angle of about 45 degrees. The faster we skate, the more we have to lean back while jumping onto the stair. The stair stop must not be a stop, you can also use it to slow down and go on onto the object. While landing on the stair, bend your knees and try to land between your midwheels or groove. Using aggressive skates, you should land on your grooves. Using other skates, you should land between your midwheels. The wall stop, a very special way to stop. I don't know if it's an official way to stop, but hey it works and it, it works alright. This technique uses a wall or a stair to stop instantly. It works also for high speed. This technique is really simple. To stop we just skate against the wall or a stair. Oh yes, we will skate against the wall and I know you have always dreamed about it. Anyway, there are several things we should think about. The faster we skate, the more we have to lean back while skating against the wall. Otherwise we will fall down towards the front or against the wall and that would not be good for our head. In addition, we should pay attention to our tiptoes. While skating against the wall or stair, we have to tighten our tiptoes. Otherwise, your toenails could be pressed into your feet. But don't be afraid, it will not happen if you tighten your tiptoes. Anyway, be sure your skates do fit correctly. If they are too small, do not use this technique. To practice, start skating slow, getting faster faster and faster. And well, that's all. We reached the end of this guide. Which technique you prefer is your choice. But before you go skating on much frequented paths or streets, be sure you already master one of the braking techniques. How we can brake and stop by skating downhill or skating backwards, we will learn from another video at the end of the Fitness Inline Basics series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it also helps you to become a better skater. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for free, so you will know you will never miss an upcoming video. If you did not enjoy it, let me know then leave a comment. Do you have any further questions or feedback? Also leave a comment. For further information about my website, Instagram, Facebook and more, check the info box down below. And if you want to support this channel, feel free to share this video or channel with your friends. And now have fun guys, see you next time. <laughs>